Hi and welcome on my channel. Today we are going to determine how to make a singing bowl set. So first let's determine what is a set. A set of singing bowls it's made of seven pieces. Seven pieces because each one of these bowls will correspond to one chakra, the, the seven main chakras. We will talk about other uh, such as the earth chakra, the star chakra, um, the elements, how we can work on earth, water, air, fire, and, and different things. But to start with, a set of singing bowls, seven bowls for seven chakras. Second step, you must determine what use you're going to have with this set. Why? I'm going to tell you right away. First, you have different types of sets. Here I brought you two and I'm just going to stack them for you to see. Okay, I'm just going to put this in like this. And like this. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And here, upla, this one is like, is here. Okay. So why is it important for you to determine what you're gonna, the use that you're going to have is that here you have two different sets, for example. This one is around uh, 12 or 13 kilos and this one is around 9 kilos. This one is not fully, but it's almost fully stackable, meaning that all the balls are getting into one another and this one is not. You can find fully stackable sets, even smaller than that. Um, the smallest you would find would be around seven kilos. Um, and this is important to know because I'll give you an example. Let's say you are a person who does sound healing sessions at your client's place, or you work in healing centers or in yoga studios. You're going to have to carry your set everywhere you go. You might even go on retreats, you might plan to take on flights, so the weight matters. If you had a 7 kilo set versus a 13 kilo set, it's much easier to travel with the 7 kilo one and a fully stackable so that you can put it in a small suitcase, you can, you can have it in a carry-on, you can have it in a bigger uh, suitcase, but it's easy to travel with. On smaller sets, you will have smaller balls. Smaller balls means a bit more high-pitched. Okay. This one is the smallest, so it gives you an idea. Now, when you have, and now I'm going to show you the largest, when you have really large balls, you have more bass sounds. To determine the type of sounds that you like and what's the use that you're gonna have. You have to make choices. If you're gonna be practicing in an office or at home and it's a place where you're not moving and you have ample storage space, then you're free to choose whatever you like. You can even get one big set and then you can even add more bowls. Um, but otherwise, this is the first thing to determine. Do I want them to be fully stackable? Do I want lightweight? Do I want um, bigger balls? Do I want uh, very heavy bases? If you want heavy bases, it's larger balls. If you want high pitched tones, you go for the smaller ones. And of course, what will determine your choice is your budget. Singing balls are sold by weight and diameter. The smaller you get, the cheaper it is and the bigger it is, the most expensive it is. So for example, um, it depends on the type of sets that you get, but on my shop for these quality, this set is around 2,000 euros or 1,900 euros. 
and this one is around 1400 or 1500 uh, then you add VAT depending on which country you're in but just to give you an idea and a seven kilo set would be around 1000 euro something like this okay so that's how you first determine what set do I get what's my budget what's my use what's the storage do I, that I have and um, what do I want to do with it okay now there is one uh, element I would like to clarify right away is that the size of the bowl does not determine its note all right so I'll, I'll show you right here is this is a F bowl and this is also a F bowl all right so you can see they are very different in size and yet they're creating the same note it doesn't mean that it's the same sound it's going to be a different vibration but on your scale if you use those um, tuner apps you can determine what are the sounds very important you have to understand that singing bowls the, the, the metallic one what we call the tibetan singing bowls are not an exact measure and if you like perfection you're going to struggle with this instrument because they're all handmade it is not machine made they are polished uh, with the help of a machine but otherwise they're completely handmade uh, the manufacturer that i work with is to me one of the most ethical uh, it's a it's a brilliant uh, product that they came up with. They source uh, all the monasteries of the Dalai Lama. It, it's a person that I'm very proud to be working with and I have a lot of uh, pleasure you know sharing this knowledge with you today and um, sharing these types of products. So it is not an exact measure. All right. Why I have to tell you this is because I can sell you a set and telling you, okay, this is the F, this is the C, this is the G, and so on. I determine those notes with the help of an app, with my own chakra system. But you have to understand that if I use this to hit the ball, or if I use this, or even if I use this, it might give me a different sound, a different note, on a different scale. So how do I know that what I'm selling you is right? And what is right for you? And sometimes you will have, and most of the time, you actually have two to three notes inside. So you cannot have an exact perfect F or a C3 or an F2 or a D1. You're gonna get several things out of it. So you need to make peace with the fact that there are going to be several options and you need to choose one. Why I say choose is because I personally believe that I create a light language with these balls. I create my, I use them as a diagnostic tool. It helps me understand what's going on in the energy field of a person. So for example, this one may be having three notes. Let's say it has a D, a G and F. In, in the Tibetan sound chart, the D corresponds to the heart, the G, uh, the solar plexus, and the F, the root chakra. So now, what do I do with this? Well, I've set up my mind saying that I want this bowl to be the F because it's very grounding, it has a beautiful sound, and this is how my body was reacting to it. So even though an app may be telling me that there are three sounds, meaning it could work on three different chakras, I choose and I decide that it's going to be used for the root chakra. And that is very important because when I told you earlier, I use these bowls to create my own light language, is I personally believe that the healing that is happening is not really something that I create. It's something that's happening through me, that's happening through sound, but it helps me understand better. I believe that the forces, the magic that happens, the beauty of it is I start understanding what the person is going through. I start receiving 
intuitive messages about the person, about what's going on in their life, maybe physical pains that they have, emotional pains. So this helps me understand that if I determine this is, that this is the root chakra and I know that when this bull sounds right, it is majestic. It has this deep bass. And when it sounds right, it can go on and on and on and on for about two minutes. Now, if I put this bowl at, in between the legs, around the root area, the root chakra area, if it doesn't sound right, or if the sound stops very quickly, it's being absorbed almost, I will understand, it will tell me that something's wrong with the root chakra. And same thing for all the other bowls. Because those forces want to tell me what's going on and they know that I use this bowl as the root chakra bowl. If I place it next to the heart or next to the, uh, the belly around the, the, sacro, the, the solar plexus area, it will not give me the same message. But I don't want to start confusing myself. I don't want to use it in three different places. I want to make it a permanent root chakra node so that I, I have a base I know what it sounds like when it's good, and I know what it sounds like when it's off, when it's always in that part of the body, all right? So this is to determine how you choose each and every bowl. Now you might ask, is it better to buy a full set at once, or do I buy them one at a time? 